In St. John's County, a beloved restaurant is closing after nearly three decades of business. A1A L Works will close this Sunday. First Coast News, Justin Clark is on your side. She's finding out the reason behind the shutdown because a lot of folks are asking. I mean, to sit on the bayfront on that upstairs balcony and overlook the bay is hard to beat. A1A Ale Works, a popular restaurant in downtown St. Augustine, right across from the Bridge of Lions and on the plaza. It's been a hot spot for locals and tourists since 1995. And we're going to head over. Doug Murr worked there for 16 years, mostly as the brewmaster when the restaurant made its own beer. He now owns Dog Rose Brewery. It was well known in this town. Like if you were looking for a restaurant job, that was the best job in town was a one. When the restaurant unexpectedly announced Thursday that its last day will be Sunday, Moore and his wife went right over to see it again. But it was mildly emotional. You know, kind of looking at the brewery, I mean, that's how I raised my family, was working there in brewery, right? Staff tells First Coast News the closing comes after a breakdown in the lease negotiations between the company that owns the restaurant and the family which owns the building. It's sad, and it's 30 years. It's part of the history. These are the restaurants when travelers like me come to down. These are the places we want to eat. Angela Shrewsbury of Tennessee ate at A1A Ale Works for the first time with friends and says staff told them they're concerned about finding new jobs but another told me the company is providing for them. And some of the people who work here at A1A L Works have worked here for years. They have a guy in the kitchen, Pete, who was there from the very first day they opened. As for Murr, when A1A Ale Works stopped making beer, he got the beer equipment, and that's what's producing the beer in his place now. But he will miss A1A Ale Works on the corner. It's like losing your childhood home, you know. The parents finally selling the childhood home is how a lot of people feel about it. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.